It finally happened. Trains are out on the experimental branch. So we're gonna have an awesome day messing around with them. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time, we Thanos snapped an entire biome and now are in the process of turning it into a nuclear wasteland. And yeah, gotta say, it's been a lot of fun. So far, so good. However though, as we're about to finish off our nuclear plant here, there's an update that changed the models for the nuclear reactors and that kind of messed everything up and we weren't able to complete it. However though, the new models weren't the only thing added to the update. Because also, after a long last, they have added in trains. And now we can set up our worldwide train network. But of course, we have to first unlock the trains and figure out how to use them. And that is gonna be the plan for today. So, pod, a launch, trains, Milestone reached. unlock. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Oh boy. Oh boy. I've been waiting for this. I have been waiting for this. Look at it! Railed vehicles. It's its own entire section. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now the main thing is, what do we need to build them? Oh, nothing too bad either. Computers, motors, this is all stuff we have. Okay, I was thinking they might need like radio control units or something more advanced, but no, this is all good. Yeah, heavy frames, got it. More computers, heavy frames, computers, heavy frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the railways just use steel. Dude, this is fantastic. Relatively speaking, everything's super cheap. So I'm just gonna gather all the things we need up and then bring them over to this little area. And this will be our train testing area for today. All right, everything's together. It's time, guys. It's time to build our first train. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's actually happening. I actually can't believe it. So how's this supposed to work? Do we... Oh, it's like belts. Okay, so we can just stretch this as far as we want. Dude, that's so easy. In the tracks, they're so big. Oh, what? Am I inside the track? I'm inside the track. I am the train. <laughs> no. But let's actually build our first train here. Oh, or our first electric locomotive. Let's see what is up. Oh my gosh. It's so bulky. It's so industrious looking, like 1950s kind of industry. What happened here though? Um, is that like supposed to be technology or I don't know. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm on the railroad. Oh, and interesting, when I press forward, it uses more electricity obviously, but huh. So I guess depending on like how fast do you decide to make it go, they'll use more or less electricity. But how do we give it electricity? I brought a power pole here. <laughs> we don't just plug this in, right? No. Let me guess, we have to make like a train station? Yeah? Holy, holy Atlanta. This is the hefty boy. What the heck? How big is this? Dude, okay, first off, train track, goodbye. Oh, I kind of presume this would go goodbye too. Wait, does this mean we're free? No, we're, we're not free. <laughs> if only. But no, this uh, train station is huge. So locomotives can be set to drive to and stop at the train station. You connect power to the train station to power up the trains on the railway as well as to transport the power to other stations. Okay, so obviously we connect our power to here. Cool. Very cool. Oh, it even has a little sign! Are they finally adding signs? Oh, for the love of God, please. Please. I, no. No, I'm, 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 I'm being crazy here. They're not adding trains and signs in the same update. That is gonna freak me out. Oh my God, wait a second here. Big meme. Okay, yeah, no. 
no signs working yet, but obviously they're working on it, so in a later patch, we're gonna have signs. I'm actually really excited for that. Anyway, what are the other things then? Freight car stops. A straight car stop, this, they, what? Oh, oh, I get you, I got you, I got you. So we snap this on. Or we snap a, a couple of them on. And these can unload certain items. So like the train, like itself, will be parked in the station, whereas the freight cars will be at each of these, where they'll be unloaded. And there we go. So lo unload. Oh, that's so simple. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're gonna have to mess with quite a bit of like train stopping and going kind of stuff because like later on we're gonna have stops where we needed to only load like the first or the second train car. That can get kind of complicated. Anyway, more importantly, wait, empty platform? An empty train platform for when you need to create some empty space. Then there, all the problems are solved. All the problems are solved. The problem I just lit. I literally just said that's gonna be an issue and they thought of it. They're so smart. They're so smart. Anyway, let's try and get a train moving here. And just slam this together, yeah? <gasps> what? We could do this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! You guys don't understand how big of a deal this is. I ne- I- oh, oh. <laughs> I always thought yeah, you'd have to build like the platforms in order to have the train tracks on top of it But you can build them in the air So we can actually make like a proper monorail network. We don't need to build like Elaborate bridges. We can just have pillars and then drag the train tracks along them. Oh That's gonna save me hours tens of hours That oh my gosh Yeah, that's gonna be wild absolutely wild now, do we have to power the other train station as well? Probably, right? Just do that for now. Let's build our first train and just kind of drive it, see how this works. So we put that on the track. Okay. Now, what about these? How do we, like, click them on? Oh, what? Oh, it just, it literally just attached. It snaps to it. Oh! And it has the container that will go on the back. Oh, and you can tell when it's empty or not. Okay, okay. I was excited for trains. Now I am beyond excited. These are far better than I ever thought. Oh my god. Oh my god, kids. Be working on the railroad. Oh. And that's it. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, though. We're gonna need a much bigger space in order to test some of this stuff out. All right, so welcome to our first train stop. Well, more so a testing train stop, but eventually it will actually be a functioning one. But it is just above our truck stations and in the middle of our oil production area because it is right close to the highway over here and then we'll be good to go. And the main thing I need to figure out here Number number one is do we want multiple trains or do we want big trains? So like looking at our map here, we have like our train station spots already kind of picked out. So like either we could have a ton of small trains with maybe like one or two cars just always zooming around or we just have one big train that's always going and coming back. And with the small train system, we would have like our locomotive right up at the front. We'd have the freight car right behind. And it'd probably just have everything get dropped off at one unloading station. Then we use the smart splitter to split everything to where it needs to go. And we're good from there. Now if we have the big train, then we have, yeah, just one big train. And <laughs> not multiple small trains. Like it's pretty simple. I just want to see... Oh, how we should go about it. Also, how much storage space these have because clearly you can't look right. Oh, you can look right now. Oh. Okay. Well, another concern checked off the list. It's looking like it's the size of a small storage container. Is it the same? 
just like a tiny fraction of a bit larger. Why do they do this, man? Why why not just have everything be the large storage container size? Ridiculous. Whatever. So yeah. Looking at things. I think having big trains would be better. Maybe, like, when we get to uh, other stations, like train station one here, we could have another train that branches off from here, going wherever, and then unloading stuff back to this train station. So we could kind of connect them all together. Then actually, can we even have multiple train tracks, like, going into one? Is that even a thing? Kinda seems like it. Oh ho ho ho! So we can. So if we're going the small train route, this is definitely what we'd do. Wow, it looks so nice too. And what's this? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we have nuclear power plants. And this is the, the toggle switch? Really? What does this mean? How would we use this? Oh, wait a second. If we're doing the small trains thing, we could have multiple very small train stations all lined up here. Exactly like our truck stop down below. So it would kind of be like this, where the small train goes into here, derails into the next stop, that's right beyond it, and etc and etc and etc. Okay, so both would work. Um... Trucks. I, let's just unsee that. But the big trains would look the coolest here for sure, though, eh? This is nice to know that we have this tool in our tool kit. Alright. Now also, oh. I was gonna say, that's, that stays? It's kind of weird. Also, though, another thing I was wondering was if these trains can go forwards and backwards. So, like, if we're driving here, we can back up. Okay. Yeah, so we're kind of rocking and rolling there. Whoa, brake? Trains do not like switching directions all that much, though. And of course we go forward. Oh, those are the engines moving on the side! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, we're just going for a loop here, guys. This is so amazing. I can't believe how cool these trains are. Oh, wait, do we automatically stop here? We didn't stop! Wait, so we have to stop ourselves? Skirt. How am I supposed to do that properly? Do we like, timetable, speed, power consumption, what? Okay, now hold up here, hold up, stop, 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 stop. What's going on? What was this? So I press C, what's this supposed to be? Oh, it's the stops! We don't even have to, like, do stuff for ourselves. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So if we name this stop something, let's name it, um, Bigo Stopo 1. Oh my gosh, what the heck? The train shit's going on its own. Come back. I didn't set that for nothing. Where is it going? Okay, though, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Can we name these two? No. And then we name this one, though, Big Ostapo 2. Like, I'm thinking, do we just name the things and it goes itself? Train? <gasps> wait. Is it stopping itself now? Because I had already marked that one. Oh, and now we have the extra stop. Oh, my gosh. This is... I... My mind is continually blown about how simple, convenient, and fun this is. I can't, I can't believe it. It stops on its own, the stuff will go to the pr proper places. Oh, this is sick, man. This is sick, man. Oh, we're gonna have so many trains. Like, this is not gonna be the only train stop. We are going to have several, 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 several. I'm just so happy this is so simple, so intuitive. <laughs> okay, okay. This is not the only thing I wanted to do, though. Stop. Stop all the things. There we go. This is my train now. There we go. Okay, so 
this is remarkably easy to set up. But the next big thing is, can we just add on multiple trains? And then have it go faster? <laughs> oh my god! What was that horrific noise? Am I deaf? Did all the sounds just break? All the sounds just broke in the in the game. Okay. That that was um unique. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll reset my game in a second here, but oh this is awkward now. Uh let's try and have a train here. And then if we drive a train this way. Why aren't we going anywhere? Wait! My power. It didn't crash, right? That, it couldn't crash right now. Hello? Yeah, no. Wait, did it? I don't know, man. Anyway. Can we never have trains in different directions? Why does this not have power now? What's going on? What if we just reconnect the power? Is it fixed? Can we drive now? No. So we can't have multiple trains on one thing. I was thinking we could stack like six trains like on the front here and just have a super high speed train and we could even have it just for personal transport. Oh my gosh we can flip it around. So yeah we could have like a personal transport high speed train and we can do that now. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh our trains might be high speed but the game definitely not. So do we go faster now with all the trains? Oh, it just doesn't even work. Oh. So if we go back to one train then, does it work? No. Yeah, we completely broke the game doing that. Okay. Well, maybe it's a thing we can do in the future. Uh, hey, my sounds are back. Just gonna say, I'm gonna restart my game and uh, get back to it, but no, we're good. So, I know it just broke my game one time, but what if I try it one more time? No! Okay, don't do that. Game, no, wait, we're moving though. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're moving though, brother. Oh, and we are faster. It works. It all works. <laughs> How fast can we go? Like, what if we just had this entire track full of trains? What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six trains now? Did I count right? Three, four, five, six, yeah. How fast do we go now? Very fast. Extremely fast. Hypersonic. We got to about 115 kilometers an hour last time. Okay. <laughs> it just looks so silly. But yeah, it doesn't seem like we're going all too much faster though. Like, we're kind of like maxed out here. Maybe like up to 120 once in a while. But yeah, adding multiple trains does not increase speed. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, they did it. They did it. I reset my game. Then comes an update. And look at it! Look at it! It's a sign. That good things are on the horizon. Oh! Oh! I am immeasurably pleased. Immeasurably pleased. I... <laughs> this is the best, man. This is the best. Oh, man. You can't... I looked through everything, and you can't build the signs, like, just on their own yet, but... If they got it working like this, then come on. It's right down the pipeline. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Uh, anyway though, I kind of cleaned up the area a bit, and I believe we are ready to move on here and actually make our first kind of train network thing. So, uh, this train stop's done. It has room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten freight cars. And it is going to be going all around the map. So, big plan here is I want to have two trains. One train will be going all the way to here train one and then over to train two and then I want to have another train that kind of goes along this side of the map to 
I don't know, space. I don't... <laughs> I haven't planned that far ahead, okay guys? Uh, right now though, I want to get the line from here to our train one stop. And I've kind of been prepping stuff over there. So, let us build our first train at Big O's Depot 1 and hit the rails. Alright, our freight cars are in. We are ready to go. And how my entire system here is going to work is the train will exit through this way. Go right down the line, do a little mini loop at the end of the line, somewhere over near train 2. And then as it comes back, it splits off, heads to the left, and enters right back into the station. So extremely simple. Like, as simple as things could be. I'm sure there's a way to make it so you don't have to do this loop thing, but I just want to get one of these running today. So let's see if we can. This is a this is a hefty train. I don't know if we're gonna be going all too fast. Oh, we're going. We are going. And it's taking us quite a bit to get to full speed, but that's okay because. We're going straight for the next forever here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's actually happened. You know, it still it still hasn't hit me yet that we finally have trains. Like, I can't believe how good they are too. Whenever a new update or something new comes out, I'm always like, Psh, well, they're gonna mess something up and it's gonna be months before it's actually fun. But no, it's fun right out of the gate. In fact, it's more than fun. It's fantastic. They they knocked it out of the park with this. I'm really happy they delayed it too. Oh, this is great. Uh, anyway, though, <laughs> I'm just overjoyed. Um, I just placed like a bunch of platforms, going over this way. Nothing spectacular yet. We'll get to designing and making it look good a little later on. But for now, it works. Nice curves. No problems on the speed front. Beautiful views. Oh, I could get used to this, man. This is so nice. So unbelievably nice. Okay, but finally, though, we are coming up on train stop number one. I just started building the platform. Obviously needs a little bit of work here. That's what I'm about to finish off. If we don't go off the rails and... Oof. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Still have to finish off the train stop, but generally speaking, it's not going to be all too difficult. And actually, maybe it will. The thing is, we have a limit of 10 freight cars. I don't know how many resources we're going to be grabbing from this area. I guess what we can do then is just have like four or five freight uh, platforms per stop. And then these will be the designated items for this platform. So that means we could get four different types of items from this area. What they'll be, I'm not sure, but yeah. Gives us the options here. Really, we need to do a bit of a scouting mission and also work on the base some more to see what we actually need more of. It's kind of like the big thing. Anyway though, yeah, we can have the four here. Later on, we can have like a bunch more, etc., etc. But for now, we have the two stops, so we should be able to just say, go to this? Like if we put in stop A and stop B, this should be functioning. So let's see. I just want to be like 100% sure everything's all good to go before we start expanding our infrastructure. It's a lot of time, that would take a lot of time. And I guess we could actually go to uh, this. Put in something and actually watch our first free car get loaded. So the train goes to the front there. It'll stop all nice like, right? Okay, but it stopped now. Oh, look at this! Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that still needs a little bit of work, but it's cool. It does actually work. And there we go. We're moving like, how many pipes was that? I can't even see, can I? Why can't I see? I guess it's like its own thing when it's in the actual stop here. Yeah, that was like a hundred steel pipes. 
But what's the deal now? Why aren't you going back? Do we have to make a loop here to make it go back? Hmm. Unable to reach next stop. Okay, well, <laughs> that's pretty clear. What if then we put a train on the back? Now, it's a little finicky before, but perhaps now that the train's in this station, meet and stopped, maybe it will, like, take it back to the last station? I think that's how trains work in real life, too, so... Should work. Oh, cover your ears. Hey! The sound didn't bug out. Oh, what? I didn't even have to do anything! It's just going, man! Oh, so that is what you do! Oh, look at that! Look at that, look at that! And, oh, this is really interesting. But, this freight car, which was the fourth before, is now like, what is it, the sixth? So we have to keep that in mind for when we're setting up our unloading station back at base. Alright, and we're back at base here. And you know, since we have the two locomotives, we don't even have to do this loop thing anymore. Like, it's just redundant, because this would just go and enter the stop from here. Oh, so that's great. And did I add more than 10 cars? God, they're, no, they're just so big. It's crazy. Brad. <laughs> we delivered our first freight car. I'm pretty sure this is not on unloading, though, so it's not going to grab it, right? Probably not. But if we quickly set it to unloading, is it going to grab it in time? No. Oh, wait, what? It's not, but what is going on now? Oh. So this is all, oh, I get it, I get it. This is always the lead car. Like it is seeing to go the stop. Why is it saying stop one now? I am not sure, to be honest. We are actually gonna delete all of those and bring the track out. I think, like, this loop I added on is messing everything up. And if I just got rid of it, everything would work fine. But you know, looking at this loop system, it kind of has me thinking here. Like, we need to get rid of that one, sure. But I wonder if it'd be possible to have, like, multiple trains going to multiple different stops using one rail. Like, for example, We'd go from here, and just continue straight, and then it'd turn into another train stop. Is that possible? Well, maybe. I don't know. The trains are brand new and everyone's trying to figure out what the heck is going on, so I'm sure in a couple of days people will know what's up. Or you guys can let me know in the comments below or on Twitter any of your crazy train ideas, and we can go from there. Right now, though, let's re-enter the locomotive. Let's set up that timetable again, just to make sure it all works out fine. There we go. Make this big O stop... What? I want to make this big O stop one. Why can't I make it big O stop one? That doesn't make sense. No. No. Wait. Can it not? Oh! Oh, you need the loop? What? So the trains can never enter the front of the train station. They have to have a loop like that. That seems kind of odd. We should be able to work around this. Actually, you know what? What if we just had another train station on the other end? Wouldn't that fix our problem? Because then, technically, it would be entering the stop, except this time... It'll be going the other way. See what I did there? Look at that. Magic. How do I snap this on? Okay, there we go. Good. And then we just call this, I don't know. Big O stop one in? I guess? Sure? Not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure of anything. I don't know what's going on, man. Okay. Not go to Big O Stop 2. We're going to add on 3 here. 
and it's still not seeing it. Why? Maybe it's because we need to do the same thing at the next stop. So we need to have a train station at the beginning and the end. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I'm not sure. Let's try it out. Back to the next stop, please. Are we good to go? You better believe we're good to go. Start your engines. Oh, but we're not going. I'm confused. Like, you can see it's consuming power, so it's like... It should be going. I guess we just have to use the other train? Okay, this is uh, extremely weird. It's on Big Ostapo 2, but it's not going. Okay, well, I deleted the extra train on the back there, so... Should work now. I guess it was just being confused. Right? Almost certainly, right? No. Why is that? What? Just when you thought you've seen everything. Okay, well, at the end of the day, the whole looping idea will work just fine. Where we just have a loop at the end of the line, and turns everything around, and everything just goes back the way it came. And yeah, that'll work out. However, I do think the two-stop solution will work too, like having a stop on one side and a stop on the other. I, I, I have a really good feeling that it could work. It's just buggy right now. And speaking of buggy, I was actually trying to redo the two-stop solution thing here, but yeah, they changed the empty platform so they're actually, like, empty. Unfortunately, though, you can't delete them now. Yeah. It, like, locks onto the tracks, sure, but <laughs> you can't actually delete the platform. So, very, very strange. They're really still working on the train stuff. Anyway, I'm sure all these problems will be fixed extremely soon, considering how fast they're pushing out these patches. So, nothing to be too worried about. Personally, I'm just loving the trains, as I'm sure you could tell in this video. Anyway though, that is gonna be all for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching! So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye